What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here, and today I'm going to be opening some cards I got from Black Friday at the dollar stores, and I was really interested in this because I've been seeing some of these things at dollar stores, and they've got, you know, different deals on things throughout Black Friday, but uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So first of all, it's not a dollar store opening without dollar store packs. So we grabbed some Sun and Moon Lost Thunder mini boosters. Set those right there. And then we've got these four team up mini boosters. And I didn't want to get too many mini boosters because those can get a little bit boring, but we'll set those off to the side. Those are the first things we're gonna open. And then the other thing I found that was really interesting were these little mini portfolios. These are Crimson Invasion mini portfolios and they come with a pack in them. Now, they didn't have any special deal on these or anything. They were just at a flat rate price and uh, they were only $3. This was $3. Usually this portfolio thing here is worth $3. Not only do you get the portfolio, portfolio, you get a pack with it. So this is how they came. I only got four of them. So I took the packs out of the other three that I bought here. And we're gonna set those right there. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get this set. Let's set this somewhere in here so we can have it on screen for just a second. Uh, we'll just open it up. Let's just go ahead and open this up and get this out and set it with the rest. And the last thing I was kind of interested in, but I think that there's going to be some people that are not as interested in it, but I was finding these, um, I found these blister packs and they are $5 a piece. Okay. And if you buy something over $5 at family dollar on black Friday and during their black Friday sales, the second item you get is 75% off. So this is what it is here. They are Steam Siege blisters. And I know a lot of people don't like Steam Siege, but I don't have any problem with Steam Siege. I actually think break cards and all that are kind of cool. And so it'd be cool to see if we could get one out of the packs that we got here. I have two of them that I already busted open and pulled the packs out of. And so we'll go ahead and set those right there. And let's go ahead and get this guy open. The, these came with either Lucario or Floet. And I went ahead and just sleeved one of the Floets up just to have it in a sleeve, you know, just to put it off to the side because I don't have this promo card. So now we have one of those promo cards. So let's go ahead and tear this guy open. These things were all kind of a pain to open though. A lot of the new ones, they seem to peel right from the cardboard, and they don't give you as much of a fight. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't really complain if it was just a pack and a coin in there, but with the promo card, I don't want to bend that up or damage it in any way. So there's the pack there, and we'll go ahead and we'll set that there. And let's get a little bit of everything in the shot here. All right, cool. Let's take a look at this Lucario card. Oh, that fell out nicely. So Lucario card looks good. Nice promo card there from XY. And if you guys take a look down here on the bottom, it does say 2016. So I mean, it's starting to starting to get up there in age. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna, this might be the only uh, holographic card we get out of the whole opening here. So I'm gonna set him in a sleeve and we'll pop this coin out of here. Get a nice little coin with that and set that off to the side. All right, I'm gonna start with, we're just gonna squeeze everything together and uh, I'm gonna start with these Lost Thunder ones and then we'll go to the Team Up ones and then we will do Steam Siege and then Crimson Invasion last. So let's take a look at what we've got going on in these dollar store packs that never like to open for me. Let's try the other side. Um, yes, Lost Thunder here. Wow. 
All right, so with the dollar store packs, as you guys may already know, there's, first of all, no code cards. And the middle card is usually your hit. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. We've got a Alolan Vulpix, Adventure Bag, and Houndour. I'm going to go through these ones really quick so we can get to the more... Oops, that's a team up. All right, Lost Thunder. So we can get to the more interesting packs faster. What is this? Look at this. This has like tape sticking off. Oh, and it's gone. Does it stick to me? Huh, that was really strange. Just a piece of tape on there and it disappeared. All right, so again, code cards are nothing. Look at these cards. They're all creased and stuff. Oh man, I hope there's nothing good in this. All right, so we've got Lit Leo, Stantler, and Unknown. I actually love Unknown. Oh, that's a rare. Check that out. So from Lost Thunder, we've got one, one rare card so far. Fantastic. Let's see if we can pull like a, a full art or a ultra rare or holographic rare even or something. And again, the code card goes in the garbage. It's not a code card. Look at the crease in these things. Can you guys see that? It's like right down the center. It's not really a crease, but it's definitely a bend. All right. Jigglypuff. That's what you get for dollar store cards, right? Curlia. And oh, check that out. All right. Prism Star Rule. What does it say? You can't have more than one Prism card with the same name in your deck. Okay. Look at that. That's an awesome card, you guys. That's actually really great. And you know what? The the centering doesn't look too bad. Let's see the back again. Back looks pretty good. I mean, that's cool for a, uh, you know, uh, Lost Thunder card, 2018. Go ahead and pop that into a sleeve and set that up here with Lucario. And... Set those cards aside. There, last pack of Lost Thunder. All right, I'm making, I'm taking too long with these. Let's, let's hurry this up. All right, <clears throat> no code card. Mill card here, and let's see. We've got Trico, we've got Spell Tag, and we've got Shedinja, which actually is another rare there. So. We wound up pulling two rares and a, um, the, I think it's called a prism card. And correct me if I'm wrong with that one, you guys. Let me know. Uh, put it in the comments below. And tell me in the comments what your guys' favorite card was from Lost Thunder. If you guys remember pulling cards from Lost Thunder or anything like that, what, what was your favorite pull? As we jump into Team Up here, let's see what we can get out of this. I would take anything from Team Up just because actually I really like this set. This set was pretty cool. The idea of having, you know, the the Team Up, right? <laughs> and so uh, let's see here what we've got. We've got Magikarp, Heliolisk, and Puccina. All right. And next we have, I've tried to get one of each pack art too. I don't know if you guys have been noticing that. <laughs> Probably haven't been showing it. But there's a Venusaur and Celebi, and man, these packs are just giving me a fight. All right, there we go. That's good enough. I don't want to see anything before it comes out, you know, because that's the thing about these is that there's only three cards, so they're all kind of a surprise. And let's see, Psyduck. All right, cool. Shout out to the real Breaking Nate if you guys watch his videos and a psychic energy and a charizard oh my gosh a team up charizard rare that's an awesome card wow and look at it it's got fantastic centering i mean it's a little bit off center top to bottom but great centering side to side and then same thing with the back um nothing on the edges or the corners that i can see and the surface looks really good so yeah, this is definitely going in the sleeve. 
You can't, I mean, it's Charizard, right? I mean, it's Charizard, come on. Put him up there with those. <clears throat> because I'm a sucker for Charizard. That's okay, though. Next, we've got the Eevee and Snorlax art for Team Up. As we're getting through these Team Up tanks, the next thing I want to see in the comments is your favorite card from Team Up. Let me know. And let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos, the dollar store packs and such. I like these dollar store packs because they're interesting. They're kind of fun. They're like little firecrackers, you know, of uh, Pokemon cards. So you can sometimes get something really cool or something just, you know, like not so great. I mean, either way for me, Pokemon cards are awesome. So I'll take any of them. The Lowen Grimer, Dana, and Ferrothorn. That's another rare. Wow, we've been pulling rares out of... Dollar store packs like crazy. Pulled a bunch of good ones. All right, and last here we have Pikachu, and I'm pretty sure that's Zekrom. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not super great with the. I get confused with Zekrom and Necrozma and Reshiram. Well, I know Reshiram, but Zekrom and Necrozma specifically. <laughs> Which I'm sure some people are going to be like, how could you mix those up? They're so different. They look so different. Blah blah blah. Whatever. No such thing as a code card in a dollar store pack. All right, and we've got Bronzor, Buff Padding, and Dratini. All right, I love Dratini, so that's a cool card for me. I don't mind. Sweet. Okay, that's it for the dollar store packs. But now for potentially some hate. <laughs> There's the, there's the chance that we, I'm going to get some hate for opening these because nobody likes Steam Siege for some reason. But I'm, you know, I don't care. I think, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can get. Maybe we can get something cool and then people will be like, wow, I really wish I would have bought those Steam Siege packs when I saw them. In fact, I almost didn't even want to open these. I just wanted to keep them sealed because, you know, it is kind of like, it's, you know whatever you want to call it, Pokemon cards history. So it almost seems like worth uh, keeping. So it looks like we're not going to get a hit on this one, one, two, and three, because it's X, Y. And let's see what we get. Pokemon Ranger, Tangrowth, Captivating Pokepuff, Ponyard. Oh, that's a really cool looking card. Dot, Clink, Mareep. Bergmite. The reverse is a Fletchender, which is actually, that looks really good. What is up with those lines? That looks awesome. And the last card is a Yan Mega, which uh, definitely, I don't, I don't know if that's a rare card in this set or not. I don't think it is. I mean, I know it's a rare, rarity card, whatever. All right, next we've got a little break action there. Let's see if we can get a break card. That's actually the biggest reason I bought these. I was like, you know what, I would love to pull a break card just because it would be, one, I think some people would be kind of like triggered by it or whatever, but also because I, I like break cards. I think they're cool. But looks like we're not going to, we, well, we might. I think, you, I think you have a chance to get one out of a, Standard green code card. I don't know though. Look at these cards though. They look so cool. Lampent, Klefki, Captivating Pokepuff, Chimchar. Looks like he's got a clink in his mouth. Yanma. Let's go with our Yan Mega. Mareep, Mantine, Meowth, Shiftry Reverse Rare. Wow. Look at that because he's got both the the, the leaf and dark typing. That's actually super cool. I'm going to probably sleep that. And then we've got a Talon Flame for the rare to go with our Reverse Hollow Fletcher that we just got in the last pack. All right. I want to sleep this one just because it looks really cool. I know you guys are probably like, oh, it's not worth anything. I don't care. Pokemon cards are just, for me, they're fun. You know, these are for fun. And to get through the last Steam, Steam Siege pack. I was trying to make these pack cards into something later, but I guess that's not going to happen. And look at that, we got another green code card. We're not getting anything from Steam Siege, I guess. 
three to the front here, and we have a Skip Loom, Ninja Boy, Azumarill, and check that out. Is that shiny? Wait a minute. Are you... <laughs> that looks like it should be shiny Azumarill. That's so crazy. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna set it down, whatever. Meryl, Oshawott, Krogunk, Tangela, Dino, Apom for the reverse, and Weevil. Like, I like Sneasel, I'm not a huge fan of Weevil, but I'm gonna look more into that Azumarill. You guys, comment down below if you think that's supposed to be a shiny or not. And here we go into Crimson Invasion. I think I'm going to, I'm actually going to save that one for last. Just because it was sitting on top. Alright, let's see what we've got here. And these packs are, wow, these are a lot different than those last ones. Going from XY to Sun and Moon, the, it's like the plastic is all is different. Alright. <clears throat> It looks like we might not get anything good out of this one either. One, two, three, and four to the front. Let's guess. And I think there's, right? It'll be energies. If so, we'll say dark energy. Okay. Yep. Fire energy. Gastrodon. Peking red card. Pillow swine. Mischievous. Pikachu. Chimeco. Magikarp. Bunnelby. The reverse is a primate. That's got to be a primate, which has got to be rare. Yep, reverse rare. And look at that. It's like claymation or something. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork. And cacturn. All right. And we'll set this little packet off to the side over here and move into this next one. All right. Can we get one? One ultra rare or better. That'd be that'd be superb in this opening. We did pull a Charizard. I'm we did pull a Charizard. All right, and another regular green code card. Oh, one, two, three, four. Almost, I almost forgot. Let's say a psychic energy, metal energy. Okay. And we have another Peking Red card, a Grumpig, a Mawile, Minchino, Corfish, Ghastly, Aaron, Dino, 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 Sweenub, and Registeel. Look at the artwork on that. Wow. That's kind of cool. What's going on there? All right. Set that one off to the side. And... These are the last two here. Let me know what you guys think about Steam Siege. Don't say anything too nasty. And uh, let me know what you guys think about Crimson Invasion. What's your guys' favorite cards from these sets? Um, have you ever, you know, opened these sets and gotten anything real good? Or are you guys having the same luck as me, not even being able to open the packs? Here we go. Okay. And another... Regular green code card. One, two, three, four. Let's say, what do we say this time? Water energy? Oh, sweet. Very nice. All right. Pilo Swine, Diggers B, Hakamo O, Star U, Pumpkaboo, Stuffle, Alolan Geodude, Cacnea. The reverse is a Mankey to go with the reverse primate. And a Starmie for the rare. All right. A little bit of last pack magic, guys. Let's see if we can get it. I moved this one from the top of the pile to the bottom, too. So let's see if that was a good idea. Or if we should have just left it alone. <laughs> but it doesn't want to be open. That's got to mean something. see any of the cards from here besides the code card. And it's another green card. Okay, so, well, 
we'll just go through this one and you know if you guys like this kind of video let me know like the video for me and if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing comment what your favorite pull was from the pack if it's not charizard i don't know what it is and uh yeah if you guys want to see more videos let me know and uh, tell me in the comments what you want to see next i have a bunch of other black friday videos i'm still kind of recording that i'm going to be putting up Pretty soon, so keep an eye out for those. So the reverse is a dashing pouch, and the rare is a beedrill. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and uh, I'll see you around.